<coughs> okay, I believe we're recording now. Um, so you got my uh, little voicemail regarding <coughs> evaluations and sort of like this sort of like uh, this weird idea that because I had I had represented evaluations as purely problematic as a virus like you said and it that creates the disease of shame internal shame or external disrespect same thing shame either way right we're shaming someone else we're shaming ourselves and then all, and then the consequences or the effects or the symptoms of that disease would be uh, all kinds of conflict, whether it's, you know, the shame is causing me, causing suicide or the disrespect is causing fighting or whatever. So evaluations, virus, shame and disrespect, the disease, conflict is the symptom. Um, what I had, what was going through my head was that like feelings come from thinking. So this is, this is where I got like, whoa, I got to talk to Alex and ask him what he thinks about this. Yeah. Feelings come from thinking, so that means that like even having good feelings comes from thinking. Thinking is, I'm thinking that thinking is evaluation. So like if you're walking through the woods and it's a beautiful setting, your 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 need for beauty and aesthetics is being met, which is an example of peace. So your 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 need for peace is being met through the beauty and the aesthetics. Maybe it's the, the order and the structure of nature that makes it so beautiful. I don't know. Um, but so that feels, you know, it's inspiration and it feels really joyful to walk through the woods, right? So that feeling, that's me evaluating nature as beautiful. I'm saying nature is beautiful and it well, feels it, good. It, so is that... Yeah, well, well, nature is beautiful. And I feel beautiful when I'm in nature. It's two totally different things. One is I'm talking about the nature. The other is I'm talking about me. So is no. na nature is beautiful. Is that an observation or is that an evaluation? Yes. Yeah, it, it fits the classic evaluation pattern. Something is something. Nature something is, is something. Nature is beautiful. But when you say, I feel beautiful feelings when I'm in nature, that's an observation. Well, no, it's a feeling. Oh, it's a feeling. Are you not observing a feeling? Well, I mean, yeah, I guess you could say that, but, but I mean, you know, you could say you're observing everything. You know, like the, the, the first skill is noticing, what I call noticing. So, I mean, if, no matter what you're paying attention to, you're, you're paying attention, you're noticing. So, yeah, in that sense, everything could be considered an observation. Well, I observed that you said this, and I observed that then I felt this, and I observed that that's because I have a need, and that yeah, it kind of defeats the purpose of, you know. So, so, yeah, in some sense, you're observing everything, but that's not really the point. The observation, or really what I call the event, so there's, there's like some kind of event, or you could call it the uh, the subject or the topic, or it's it's whatever you're talking about, whatever you're thinking about, whatever yeah. you're contemplating. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just call that the event. So, you know, in that case, it would be I'm looking at trees. I see the trees. I, when I see trees, when I see the light. What it is right now, the rain, the sunlight. And, I feel calm. Calm. Feel awe. Awe. Uh, I feel. I feel sort of trance, trance-like. Charm. Charmed. But, what, but when, what, what charm is okay. What you want to avoid is I feel charmed. Duh. Or I or I feel enchanted. Or you know people say this all the time. I feel so blessed. Blessed. All of those things. That's not a feeling. Uh, no, they, they all imply something out there doing, doing something, doing something doing. to you. Something out there having an effect on me. Not a feeling. It's not a feeling. No. That's blessed is an evaluation. It's a 
keep striving what I think is happening, and I'm and preceded by the words, I feel. Right. You so, say, I feel, and then you say a thought. I feel betrayed. Yeah. I feel ignored. Yeah. I feel, I feel taken advantage of. Okay, so these are the evaluations that we have to just throw out there and say, so that way we can translate them into, like you say, experiences. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you don't have to come up with evaluations, though. You know, I mean, you might. Oh, okay. You can, you can, you can ignore your evaluations. And just say. You can oh, bypass. Okay. You, you can bypass the evaluation altogether and just say, "When I see this, I feel this because uh, it meets my need for this." Right. You right. Could, and, and I do this all the time. I'll just be like, "Look at something like God." I, uh, and, and, and and of course, the the, the evaluation. <laughs> Neural pathways are so old and deep that it's really hard to not have an evaluation pop up. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Here's, here's an example of here's an example of an experience and an evaluation in in one in one sentence. Basically, I told my mom. She goes, "Well, I still have a little bit of a cold," and and uh, she goes, "So we're not going to the funeral." And I said, "Oh, I'm really glad to hear that. That's an experience." And then I said. That's really good. That's an evaluation. Uh. And and I you know, and it's like it's not good or bad. I just but yes, but you just gl feel better. glad that you're not going to the funeral. Yeah, and the difference is people say, well, feeling is uh, abstract. Feeling's not. Well, oh, interesting. Not, well, never thought about it that yeah. way. Oh well, yeah, no, but except it's not because it's, it's not. like you tell me when you're sad. That's just that's just something you're making up. You can turn it off. No, you, it's observable. Know. I have a feeling, and it's defined as sadness. Yeah. Whereas, whereas when you say, you know, that's unprofessional, or you're an asshole, or some other evaluation. Yeah, that's, that's a label. That's a. Yeah. That is that. That's abstract. That's abstract. That's, that's what you just you, thinking you know, out of your opinion. Yeah, and what you're noticing earlier is it, it can be really difficult to get away from the evaluation once you start really paying attention to the pattern and look for it everywhere. I've used it several times in the last sixty seconds. What? What's that? I'm, I'm missing the point. That how how um, how uh, evaluations are just constant. I just did I just did one. Evaluations are yeah. just what? Are constant. Evaluations yeah. are constant. Yeah, well, just a word. That's constant. an observation, though. <laughs> they just. They're just so deeply embedded in the structure of our language patterns and our thinking patterns that they're hard to get away from. Yeah. And so that's why, yeah, if you can just not evaluate and just observe, that's cool. You know, you can just be connected in, in the moment completely. Right. But like, if right. you find yourself evaluating, then just observe the evaluation and translate it into... Right. There you go. Okay, you so go. but going back to my origin, going back to my original contemplation, um, almost like a it was a challenge for me. Are okay, you can't have feelings without thinking. So do feelings come yeah. from evaluations? Well, so there is some truth to that, but no, you really, uh, it's hard to imagine, you know, feelings. And and you know it's pretty much considered really not. Maybe like, they're feelings and thoughts are you can't separate. Them. You can't separate them. But but I mean it's one of these weird paradoxes where yeah yeah they happen hard, together at the same time. It's, yeah, except that they are two different things. Otherwise, how could oh. they be happening at the same time? Of course. Because if you think about the Myers-Briggs personality thing, feeling and thinking are side by side. You have feelings on the right side and thinking on the left side, and one stimulates the other, and they balance each other out. So you're not going to have feelings without thinking or thinking without feelings. Right. But, but it's not really about Myers-Briggs. It's about the fact that 
you know, we just have these two components, or these two, yeah, two Functions, I guess you could, components. Functions, yeah. yeah, yeah, and feelings and thoughts, and then we even know that most of our thoughts, you know, are in our frontal cortex, is sort of the thinking center of oh, the brain. Oh, thinking here. Feeling, the feeling center is more in the center of the brain, it's like the amygdala, oh. and, you know, but the thought... Just like a car engine has all different components, but they're all wired in and hooked together. You know, they totally work yes. together. Yes, one doesn't work without the other, yeah. So you can still say, you know, this is the oil and this is the water, you know, but you can't really run an engine without either one, but, right. the, two never, but the two never mix, you know, oh. and, and, and you know, something like that. So it's basically like, yes, they are two separate things. No, you can't really have an engine run. With on one or the other. So they're and two separate things that are both necessary well, it's for the experience necessary. to happen. It's, it's, well, it's not even necessary. It's just that they both are. They just both yeah. exist. Yeah, they just exist. Yeah. Thinking so exists the thing is, is, when feelings and, and, exist. When, when you were saying earlier about, you know, well, uh, you know, are, are evaluations problematic or are they quote you can put it in quotes are they bad are evaluations necessarily bad well yeah. should we evaluate evaluations <laughs> right I when I, and I don't I don't say these things are bad okay. all I do is say these are what they are what I do say what's really ironic actually it's sort of they exist you know, a little bit, I, I have a, a small amount of concern about it but not much but basically uh um, in the in the little reference card, you know that I have the, the reference card that folds in half. Little yeah. Small. Yeah. On the inside of that, it says evaluations are vague, static, and what's the other vague. One? vague. They are vague. Static. Yeah. I don't fully understand static, but vague I get. Well, static means not in motion. Static is something that's like still. So, uh, in other words, uh, a drumstick set is a drumstick is static. But uh, let's, let's, let's but like um, the sky is not static. The sky is always changing. Yeah, the weather. Weather. And, weather. And it's a, the opposite. The opposite of static is dynamic. Dynamic. Okay, so evaluations are static. Well, yeah, so what I say is uh, evaluations are vague, vague static, static, and abstract. Ab so you are an asshole. That's vague. What do you mean by that, first of all? It's right. vague. And then it's static right. because you're, you're labeling me as an asshole. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I'm just an asshole. Right. And right. then the third thing you said, it was what? Abstract. Abstract, meaning it just comes from my opinions, not any observable objective. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or in other words, it's not based in any reality. It's not like you can show me an asshole, you know, or I, you know, I mean, I guess you could. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you know what I mean? I mean, I, I mean, it makes no sense. No, he's not an asshole. No, I'm not an asshole. Me. That's only part of me. It's over here. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Want me to prove it? Yeah. yeah. So anyway, but but my, the reason I'm saying this is just weird. And then on the other side, I say experiences are specific, dynamic, specific, and dynamic. real. Wow, experiences are specific, dynamic, and real. Can you give us an example? But the but the but the problem but the... With, that, with both of these, of course, is that I am using evaluations. All of those are evaluations. <laughs> wow! Wow! Yeah. Wow! Evaluations so am... are. This, this, this. Yeah, and so I am purposely using, I, I am choosing to accept the use of yeah. evaluation. Because it makes sense. And it, it, oh, wow. And, you know, I've heard Rosenberg use a lot of evaluations in his book, but the message comes across. I get it. I yeah, see what, I mean, I see I mean, what you're the, saying. The con it's helpful. The concept of nonviolent communication is, you know, nonviolent is an evaluation. Nonviolent is an evaluation, right? Yeah. So you know, it's, when I abstain from hitting you in the face, that's observable. So, the, the, so the point is not, you know, I don't say they're bad or don't use them. I just say 
what's important is that you can identify them identify and that you understand, understand that you actually can observe and experience what the problem is with them and see how they cause uh, conflict they eventually well they cause shame cause shame and then conflict oh they lead to shame they yeah. lead to shame so, so yeah. when you talk about disease or shame being the disease evaluations are the violence virus that carries the disease of shame so in the in the in the health piece parallel if, if 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 all these forms of conflict and violence are symptoms of a disease, what is the disease? Shame and disrespect. What's the ger- what's the virus that causes the shame and disrespect? Evaluation. So if I say something that fits the evaluation um, pattern, pattern, this is this, um, but it doesn't have any shame or conflict um, attached to it then it's still an evaluation, but it's not... I'm confused now. Because, like... Well, well, yeah, so, I mean, it doesn't matter what, what, what you decide is attached to, whatever, it's just the bottom line is it, it's the pattern. That, that's just, it's just something to observe. So not all evaluations create shame. It's just that everything that creates shame is an evaluation. Is that right? Well, well, that's... That's close. Okay. So, so shame is a good example of something that people talk about being a feeling, or they talk about it being an emotion. But in reality, it is it is not an emotion. It's not. It is a. It is well. It is a mixture of feelings and thought. But they haven't even said at all what the feeling is. Because shame, I mean, I mean, you can sort of imagine, you know, I mean, we, we all know what shame feels like. But the problem is that shame does not describe a feeling. It doesn't describe a feeling the way sad or angry or ecstatic or it doesn't describe a feeling like that. But, you know, but it, but it could. But the problem is that... Um, that when you ask somebody what they mean by shame, like what is shame, they'll say, "Well, I just don't feel like I'm good enough." Right. I don't feel like I. Which is a thought. I'm not lovable. Right, which is again a thought. Evaluation. It's an evaluation. They, it, it, it immediately it, just evaluates. Even people like Brene Brown. Who is her whole career? Unworthiness, it, feeling bad about yourself. Unworthiness. Feeling bad about yourself. Well, I mean, bad There's is right evaluation. there. Valuation, you know, and so but, even even experts who study shame and are out there making a bunch of money teaching people that shame and and, and doing, doing work that is helping people yeah. apparently. Yeah. But they are still operating in this environment where they are not aware of and don't understand how to make the distinctions about evaluation. And so they are still... It is... About- See, I'm, so that's the purpose of this call is I'm confused about evaluations. I'm still... It, well, let, me, well, let me just make it clear. It's, okay. it's, 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 it's not about... Okay, so all, the, all I can tell you is that the, the most... The thing that would help you the most is to do what you seem to already be doing and pay as much attention as you can and catch evaluations everywhere. Observe them. them. See them. Yes. Just notice that pattern and you'll start to hear it everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, God, dude. I can't watch a TV show. I can't put on a comedy bit. I can't listen to a song. I can't talk to anyone without evaluation after evaluation after I can't talk to myself without hearing evaluation right. after evaluation. Right. It's just in and us. So, and so it, it so it becomes this very um, it becomes a challenge to figure out how to say these things without using evaluations. And then the example I gave earlier is a really good example. Instead of saying, Oh, that's really cool, just catch yourself and, and go, it's not anything. Well, it's no, not it's, anything? It's, 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 oh. it's a thing. Doing yeah, it's not anything. It's, it's not good. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not it's cool. It's not it's nerdy. You know, it's just I a thing. It is. Because, yeah, but if I say I like it, I'm talking about me. My feelings. Not it. 
Yeah, my feelings. No. Oh. I'm saying I like it or I oh. don't like it. So put things in terms of me not labeling it yeah. or you. Yeah. yeah. That's what it is, yeah. taking responsibility. Yeah. And so it's saying that saying that saying that something um, saying that something was saying that I stopped, I went to this thing and it was really fucked up. I went to this event and it was really, it was really fucked, fucked up. up. No, it's just I felt annoyed by it. I really didn't, didn't like it. Didn't meet my need for nothing. <laughs> Got right, it. Right, right, right. And 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 but but basically, even coming down to the I like or don't like something is the simplest expression of whether I'm comfortable or uncomfortable. I mean, it's, it's not even saying it's not even saying a feeling. It's just saying I like it or I don't like it. Okay. And it's a very simple way to, to express your comfort level or lack thereof without even saying the word feeling or even naming a feeling. And you're, not, you're not saying I feel comfortable or uncomfortable. You know. It's just saying and, this is positive or negative for me. I'm feeling positive or I'm feeling negative. I'm feeling pleasure or I'm feeling well, pain. That's it. Well, I like it or I don't like it. Work. Pleasure and pain works. Positive and negative is just more evaluations. Oh, more evaluations, yeah. See, I didn't even catch that. Well, this is uh, 21 minutes here. I'm going to think that's a good length for a video. Uh, I'm going to hit stop and thank you for this call. And, uh, Do you want to talk? You, I, now that the rain is stopping, I'm going to go for a walk. Do you want to keep talking on the phone while I walk? Maybe. Or um, I mean, do you have any, anything? I, I got to think about what I'm doing here before I decide on an intention for the next 10 minutes. I'll, I'll text you, though. Okay. Thanks, bro. Yeah, is it helpful? I mean, did we... Did we yeah, because now I have to go back and, and think about this and, and watch this video and contemplate what it was that I was... with the challenge that I was having initially and then the information that you gave, you fed me back. Let's let's see. Let's Yeah, before we hang up here, how helpful was, has this been? Let's see. Um, well, one of the things I do remember from your voice... It's okay that... that it's What you're saying is it's okay, it's okay that there's thinking and there's evaluation. Just be aware of it. Don't, don't. Well, yeah, and, and, and I'm not saying it's okay. Oh, that's, that's okay. I'm just saying you'll notice that it's happening. You'll notice that it's happening and there's no getting away from it. Like, evaluations are going to happen. Well, right. And and, and so, uh, and, then, and then, of course, like I said, I'm giving you this example of the card because to show even I, you know, will choose to, you know, there are times when, uh, the use of the evaluations will meet your needs for ease, efficient, efficiency. efficiency, and communication. Yes, and yeah. and, the and when that will work is when is two things. When when everybody involved in the communication, when you know that everybody knows exactly what those evaluations mean. Wow, that is the you know exception. I mean? That's the evaluation exception. That is so trippy. Well, well, it just, it just means that it's, so in other words, it, it's not about don't use them. It's about be aware, be aware of them, them. cultivate, a, 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 you know, uh, an, ever, an ever more heightened awareness of them. And so that, so that and, you, yeah. And, and know and really connect why they're problematic. Is when you don't connect. Yeah. So yeah. so make sure you really understand why they you know so why they sense. why they, why they create problems. What the problems are that they create. It's you when know? you don't connect with what's really being said, what they're really trying to say, and you just react to with defensiveness. That's what right. creates you're, conflict. You're operating on the surface of what they're saying and taking it at face value rather than remembering. See, okay, he just called, he just called me a selfish. You know, an unprofessional, but but all I know is, first of all, that's completely. I have really no idea what he means by so that. He, if he, yeah, if yeah. I, if I do, and I take it, and I take it at face value. You know, it's it's just creating a problem, and so right. But so if it, but I, if I, I look I'm, a little deeper, so if I'm cultivating this, you know, the second skill of remembering, 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 then what am I remembering? I'm remembering the third skill, which is wondering. Wondering. 
I wonder wondering. what he means by that. Yes, no, wondering what need he has that what is need? driving him to call me an asshole. An so unprofessional. So he needs... Or, or unprofessional, right. Support. Profession. He or, needs support. Uh, well, we, what well, we don't know. you got to stay in that wondering state. Yeah, that hey, buddy, is, do you need some support, a different type of support from me? Yeah. yeah, and then... And then what You're would right meet your the, need for professional support? What could I do? If, that, if that's what it is. Yeah. I mean, I've got I've to be curious and ask, is, is it about support? You might say, no, I don't fucking, I got all the goddamn support. Just fucking don't talk to me like it's that. About it's about respect, or it's about, yeah. Respect? Yes, yes, it is. Okay, thank okay. you. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so it, yeah, and, and then finally, you, you know, then you're right at the cusp of, of the fourth skill, which is translation. Translation. So... And that's when you translate from the evaluation into the experience. So then, finally, you're saying, okay, so you think I'm an unprofessional, you think I'm unprofessional and selfish, but what I'm wondering is, when I showed up, are you saying that when I showed up without the handouts and I was 10 minutes late, were you anxious and irritated because you wanted... Um, the full time of the meeting, or that you, or that you value, um, you know, effectiveness, uh, prepared preparedness. Yeah. And you can say, well, it's just disrespectful to make us sit here waiting. Are you wanting consideration of your time? I wanted you to get here on time. So uh, maybe he's so needing support you, when he needs you it. Want trust, <laughs> you want to trust? You want to trust? It's important to keep agreements. Yes, we got to keep agreements. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. You know, and Consistency. Are, uh, yeah, well, empathy, empathy and connection. Right so what you're doing is you are trans. You are trans. So what? What that was was the translation. The translation. From, I'm unprofessional. To, to when I came ten minutes late without the handouts, you were you didn't like that. Right. You didn't felt, like that. You felt bad. You, you felt nasty. Dependability. Because you value dependability. Yeah. Connection, yeah, yeah. respect, and efficiency. And, 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 I'm, and I'm asking that you, but the wondering is so essential. Yeah, One you're right. Ask the curiosity. You're right. It cannot be diagnosis. It no, can't right. be think remotely like I'm telling you, or I've already figured it out, or I have you figured out. It has to come out of curiosity. You know, it has to because <clears throat> so because so okay. Otherwise, you're, you're basically evaluating them otherwise. Yeah. Okay, so well, you're, you're real quick, let's dying. go over the four skills again real quick before we hang up on the call. The first one yeah. was uh, ob Notes. observing. What was it? Notes. Noticing. Yeah, notice. Noticing, yeah. which is like observing. Yeah. Okay. The second one is, let's see if I can remember. Um, you just said it. <laughs> <laughs> remembering. <laughs> so noticing. Uh, so observing what you're observing. And then um, remembering... Remembering what? Remembering to notice and and remembering everything else that you learn in this in this you know oh. everything that you get out of this thing. You know. Oh, what are the needs? What are the feelings? Like, okay. And then the third thing is uh, wondering. Yep. I wonder what they mean by that. Let's see if I can connect with their needs. And and then, and, 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 and also connect with your curiosity. Like curiosity. Really, like that, like just in other words, in other words, that's a way to make sure that you don't start coming from I already know what's going on here. Yeah, you said this before. You told me this third step of of wondering and this curiosity is like a state that we that we could really rely on at all times. We can stay in a state of curiosity always, and that yeah. sort of like yeah. guides us. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because that way, if we're in a state of curiosity, we're always observing, and we're always thinking about what we're always remembering and. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. And then the fourth skill is what? Translation. Translation. Oh, so that's just taking the evaluation and turning it into an experience. Taking the, yep. you're an asshole, and turning it into, I see your need for respect, and why right. you feel and, hurt. And, right. Yeah, and when we talk about feelings and thoughts, you could also say, well, what's happening simultaneously, you know, say those are simultaneous. Also, you could say, experience, you know, you experience, experience mode and evaluation mode are both happening at the same time. Yeah. The water and the oil. In other words, you're experiencing what's happening 
and there's a part of your brain that then evaluates what happened. Trippy, man. Have them both. <clears throat> and most people, of course, mostly know the evaluation part. That's what they know to do. That's yeah, that's and that was my point is that it's like like the consciousness, the common consciousness that we're programmed to have, you know, just from our environment and everything is that we evaluate, but then that's as far as we go. That's it. We live there. We live in the evaluations, and we live in that right. reality, and it's, God, right. what a dark place to be, so disconnected and yeah. with so much conflict. I mean, uh, even right. in the, even in even within families and family members and things. But then, right. so it's just a matter of realizing that, hey, it takes more than just oil. you got to have the water, too. So yeah. you take that evaluation, and you translate it into reality. And then, then we get connected. Then we understand each other. Now we can have yeah. strategies that meet our needs. Yeah. Cool. Okay, and, man. And Thirty let's, minutes. Let's let's call it thirty minutes. Um. And thank you. Cool. Yeah, you bet, brother. Thanks for this call, man. See you next and time. I'm, I'm gonna go out on a walk, but if you want to talk some more, text me or whatever. Okay. Enjoy your walk. Yeah, Stay dry. It's still raining road. here. Enjoy. All right. All right. Wait. See you, dude. I, okay.